What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon can the create space. The facade of the lifestyle. See, everybody wants to live the life 24 carry. But we don't never talk about the facade of the life. Everything's a good, you know, everything got to be a good look. I got to make it look, you know, the social media bullshit. The I can only hang out with a certain kind of crowd. Bullshit. The I got to look a certain type of way. Bullshit. The facade. So let's get into it. You got to live a certain type of lifestyle. Because that lifestyle means that you of are, of are, that you are of a certain caliber. When in actuality, you're just trying to stun on people. Because see, when you reach a certain level, you're going to like the, the perks of that, of a higher lifestyle the amenities of a higher lifestyle. But what you're not going to do at a certain point is give up who you are, what you like, what works for you. What, what do I mean by that? I'm glad you asked. If you like Living in a nice neighborhood in a nice home, and then they say you gotta drive nice cars and you gotta go to five star restaurants. You'd be like, Well, I like the nice home and nice neighborhood thing. I don't like five star restaurants. That's just my thing. I don't like five star restaurants. I like nice cars, but I like I don't like certain cars. Well, if you had the money, would you get a Rolls Royce? Don't like Rolls Royces. But it's it's a it's, it's it shows it says luxury, yeah yeah. It also says gaudy. It also says frivolous spending. But if you have the money, you do it well. See, just because you got the money, doesn't mean you should get it. Oh, I have to have a Rolex and show you my Rolex. You can have a Rolex, but why do you have to show me? your Rolex. You see, there's a difference between living a lifestyle for you and living a lifestyle for everybody else to see you living a lifestyle. I'm going on trips. If you wanted to go to these places, go. Why do you have to show everybody in the world where you're going? Who do you want to see your lifestyle? Who are you trying to impress? You know, I'm going to the club and I'm going to pop bottles. That $35 a bottle of Moet at a liquor store costs you $130 at a club. And they put sparklers in it. For you, for what? For the five minutes of attention you got for a chick walking around like, this stupid motherfucker bought champagne with sparklers marked up four times. Just saying. You know. You gotta. you. When you have friends. I need to hang around a certain type of crowd. If you have to hang around a certain type of crowd. That doesn't necessarily mean that crowd. Likes you or fuck with you. It's just for a show. So. If you have to have a certain crowd. For the lifestyle. Then you're surrounded by fake ass people. That isn't just a reflection of them being fake. You fake too. Because see. If you get to a certain space. A real person will will, will be with the people that, that they've been with for years. They wouldn't be just hopping on new people. It's not as. That, that's, that's a good look for the lifestyle. But not necessarily a good look for the life. Because. How real are you? Did you do it all for a facade, for show, for a masquerade? Just to be seen 
and view, you know, controversy sales, sex sales. You want to be relevant so you align yourself. You're an opportunist all the time for to be seen in the lifestyle. Well, the thing about the lifestyle that, that, that I'm getting at is the lifestyle ain't real. Do you want to be in a house surrounded by people that you don't fuck with but because it, it looks like a good look? Or do you want to be in a house surrounded by people that, that you fuck with? That you be like, yo, man, let's just kick back, play some spades, talk old time, talk old memories, make new memories, have some fun, have a positive vibe going. Because, see, a lot of times people involve themselves in the facade of the lifestyle and they wind up miserable because they are surrounded by fucking vultures and snakes. Because, for some odd reason, a room full of well-known vultures and snakes is a good look because you can take pictures with these people and people know people because they're famous or people know people because they're rich or people know people because they have they're they're, they're associated with other people who are rich or famous and you come to find out the possessions of the lifestyle are meaningless you see what's a $30,000 watch really worth it still tells the same time as a regular $30 watch what is riding around in a Rolls Royce when you could have bought You could have started a business and bought two homes. Just saying. Rented out both homes. Or if you got a team of people that were down with you from day one, you could have bought team some of your team homes. That way they can't they can have jobs and don't have to worry about mortgages. And their family can survive with or without you from that point on. Just on the smallest level. And the business can recoup your money if you if you invest in the right business. Or invest in the right uh, things. Just saying. You know. If you align yourself with the right friends who are real and not in the facade, they'll tell you, that you don't do that. You're going to have some no men in your life who going to say, no, nah, I, I I want to still see you succeed or be happy when your run of success is over. See, that's what people don't forget about the facade of the lifestyle. You're not going to win forever. You're not going to be the man forever. It's not going to be your time forever. And if you want people, if you want the, the realest people in your life is going to be the, are going to be the people that were there for you either before you made it and are still the same people when you make it or when it's your time. Or the people that you've met when it's your time, who's going to be real with you enough to tell you, look, it ain't going to be your time forever. But I suggest that what you're doing in your time, make sure you protect your assets for when your time, your run is over. See, those are going to be the realest people in your life. If you make $10 million and, every, and somebody get in your team, let's go just ball out. They ain't your friend. They're not. They're not cool with you. They just want to leech off of you. If you make ten million dollars, your friends say, "Hey, no, 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 no. Why? Why are you going? Why? Why are you trying to go ball out everywhere? Won't you put that money? Keep that money in the fucking bank. How about you put that money in a in a business? Fucking get fucking get a wing stop like Rick Ross, and your with your profit to be by the end of the year." Or every month, you could take some of that profit money and then go out. That way, your money is making money, and then you'll still be able to go have a good time, but you won't be spending necessarily all of your money doing it. If you want to go on vacation, you know, have a corner store, employ some people, and then use some of your profits to, to go on vacation. Don't just spend until you until you go broke, because the facade of the lifestyle people forget is this. When the money run out, your friends run out too. When the money run out, you sell all those possessions off to try to get something back. When the money run out, 
all the good memories you had just just living life and balling out, the people that ain't going to, they're not going to chip in to keep you afloat. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about the lifestyle because you could waste your whole, you could waste the, pro, the profits from your life's work trying to live the lifestyle because the lifestyle is going to definitely last shorter than your lifespan. That's why the facade of the lifestyle is bullshit. You know? Why would you, you know... Uh, <laughs> I don't care what it is in life. I don't care if you're a CEO of a company, if, if you're a professional athlete, if, if you're a, 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 um, an inventor. Your product is going to hit at a particular time. Sometimes... Some brands become staples and some things will get you a residual income for life. But most things don't. So why, you know, act like, you know, you live in forever. And yeah, you can't take it all with you, but that ain't the point. The point is, why live high on the hog for this short amount of time when you can live high on the hog for this long amount of time. Don't worry about the lifestyle. Worry about the lifespan. Peace.